Right, so uh, lunge with contralateral weight. Uh, what they found is if you're performing this exercise, so if I wanted to exercise my left glute med, I would have the left leg forward and I'd have the weight in the opposite arm, okay? So if I'm doing my left glute med, I've got my weight on my right side. And I'm gonna go into a, you know, a traditional lunge pattern. Now, when you first start with this exercise, there's absolutely nothing wrong with having something to stabilize yourself on, whether it be a chair or a wall or whatever, yeah. You can aid yourself by holding on a bit, but then you wanna to progress to doing it freestanding. Whenever I start a lunge pattern, I always like to start from kneeling because when we come down into the lunge, we want to have the hip and knee in a nice straight alignment. So I find it easiest if I start in the kneeling position, get that alignment set right from the start, then it's there and I don't have to worry about it. Now I've got my weight on my right, so I'm working my left and I'm gonna come up and then I'm gonna lunge and from now on, the knee will not touch the floor, okay? It will come close to it, but I'm not gonna allow myself to rest on the knee and then come up, yeah. It'll be one continuous movement, never actually touching the floor again, okay? And you, so you start with a light weight and a bit of stability, holding on to something you need to progress to freestanding, so nothing holding on and then you can progress further by increasing the weight, the contralateral weights. Um, yeah, add more weight, makes it harder. Weird, huh? Um, and that's, then that's that exercise.